my name is Sam Sliman. I think uh, everyone here knows me except the families of the two, two of the three captains. I'm the civil service director for the city. And today we have a really um, exceptional day, in my opinion, where we're going to, where Mayor Burnaby will promote three firefighters to the position of captain. In 30 years as director, we've never done that before. So it's kind of a little bit of a history here in this very historic year that we're going through. Before um, I introduce the mayor to start swearing in the three new captains, I'd like to introduce our safety director first, Ms. Andrea Perry. And I'd like to ask the uh, chief as well as the assistant chief to come up and say a few words as well. First, I'll ask the assistant chief, Akbar Bennett. Good morning. Today's a good day. And to the friends and family, I just want to tell you that these gentlemen have went on a very strenuous, tough journey. And I'm very proud of them. But now the work begins. Because as men and women, it's going to expect your leadership and your courage and your mentoring to guide them through 2020 and beyond. I'm very proud of you guys. And let's go to work. Thank you. Thank you, Chief Bennett. Um, before I go, I introduce Chief Guerra. I'd like to thank uh, the mayor's um, executive assistant, Tammy Diener. Her work together with my staff has always made these promotions very seamless and very efficient. So Tammy, thank you on behalf of civil, the Civil Service Commission. With that, I'd like to introduce our chief, Thomas Guerra, say a few words. Once again, uh, thank you for coming out. Uh, I know this is interesting times we live in, but uh, it is a tremendous uh, opportunity to come out and observe people that uh, have worked so hard. The firefighters, paramedics have uh, come up through a lot of calls, a lot of fires, a lot of medic responses. And as you know, on the EMS, we live in uh, interesting times of possible COVID exposures and contamination. So they have worked hard. Each one of these, I fully support with all my heart. They, they've done great in their careers. And um, I do want to say, as I go forward, uh, that the families realize that sometimes even the media misunderstands, like when you become a captain, now you're administration. They're not, they're grabbing hose lines still. Now they're leading crews into the battle, whether it's a fire, they're responsible for seeing safety when they go out on a car wreck or a medical call where there might be multiple victims. So they're assuming a role of leadership that's very tactical and very operational in the field. And with that, it gives me great comfort to know who's being promoted and uh, stand back and, and know that we're in better condition now today than we will be in the, just this morning as I came on duty as blue shirts. And so I once again, I congratulate Dan and Rick and Tom on making it to this point, looking forward to seeing your leadership skills at work. Thank you. Before I introduce the mayor and um, uh, start to swear again, I'd like to say a couple things. First of all, everything, of, of course, in the fire and police departments, and mo most departments go by seniority, and the first the, the first captain to be sworn in will be Dan Kinsler, the second Rick Leone, and the third Thomas Todd. And this is how their seniority will go um, when they ever they bid on anything uh, in the future, in their future careers. Also, you know, I, I deal with these guys on a pretty close basis throughout the years, and fire and police both are a brotherhood, a sisterhood, if you will. And two of the three captains that we swear in today would not have been sworn in unless their brother captains left just a little bit early. 
and I think it's worth mentioning that they look after each other, not only um, in, on, on a fire scene, but they do as well in their careers. And I think it's uh, just a wonderful thing. And it's, it's not, and it is unique to Canton Fire, unfortunately, because I know directors from Columbus and Akron, Toledo, they don't have the same brotherhood that we, and sisterhood that we have here in Canton for our fire and police departments. So I want to congratulate both departments. And with that, I'd like to um, ask Captain, future Captain Dan Kessler to come up front and um, the mayor's executive assistant will hold the Bible for uh, Captain Kinsler. And I'd like to introduce our mayor. Uh, some of you have not met him before, some family members. He's a great guy. He'll stay later and take some pictures with the new captains and their families. Um, so I'd like to introduce Mayor Thomas Burnaby. <clears throat> and good morning, everyone. Um, before I administer the oath of office, and it is really a great honor, and it's always a great pleasure for me to get to do this, I do want to welcome the families that are here. Uh, Dan, you're all alone today, but at least we have the families of, of Rick and, and Tom. So, and we welcome to you, and we also welcome anyone that will be watching this, either shared uh, on, on video or on Facebook Live and so forth, which uh, Tammy will make a video of this for you later on. This is always an important and a great day in your lives, very, very importantly, but it's also an important day for the fire department and it's an important day for the city of Canton. Unfortunately, because of health restrictions associated with, with COVID-19, uh, we're restricted as to who can attend these ceremonies. And, but for those restrictions, uh, I can assure you that this council chambers would be filled with other firefighters and other members uh, of city uh, council and so forth here to greet you and congratulate you. I'm doing something different. I've come up with something different, Chief. And that is, because we're closing in on football season now, hopefully. But Woody Hayes supposedly called the Ohio State University marching band the best damn band in the land. And that name eventually stuck and is now the nickname of that band and it's grown nationally. I've decided to appropriate Woody's words for our fire department. So I want to thank Chief Guerra, as I always do, Chief Bennett, and his entire leadership team and the entire department for being that best damn fire department in the land. Um, I, I always thank them for their excellence, for their service, and it's even more meaningful today in the era of COVID-19 because you all are on every day, 24 seven, the front line. So I thank the entire department and I, I thank our captains to be promoted today too. Um, four or three captains, I have read your bios. Um, I thank you for your exemplary leadership to this point in time and, uh, and for your commitment to the Canton Fire Department and to the city of Canton. So again, thank you very, very much. What we'll do now is I will administer the oath. I will do this one at a time, first to uh, Captain Counselor, uh, and then I will call up uh, uh, Rick and your family. Please bring up who would you like to hold the Bible with you, um, and, and then uh, Captain Todd at the end. And again, after I do swear you in, you have the choice to say or not to say, make any comments. But we are ready to do so. Tammy, would you like to hold the Bible? Sure. left hand on the Bible, raise your right hand, and repeat after me. I, please state your full name. I do, 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 do solemnly swear, I solemnly swear, to support the Constitution of the United States, support the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution and laws of the state of Ohio, the Constitution and laws of the state of Ohio, the ordinances of the city of Canton, the ordinances of the city of Canton, and the regulations of the Canton Fire Department, and the regulations of the Canton Fire Department, and I will faithfully, Faithfully, honestly, honestly, and impartially, and impartially, discharge and perform, discharge and perform all the duties incumbent upon me, all the duties incumbent upon me as captain for the fire department, as captain for the fire department, for the city of Canton, the city of Canton, according to the best of my ability, according to the best of my ability, and understanding, and understanding 
during my continuum as well. So. During my continuum? So. Yes, I shall do. And yes, I shall do. As I shall answer unto God. As I shall answer unto God. Congratulations. I just want to just say a few things. Um, I know from the day I got hired, one of the things that helps me every day, it's not about a good day or a bad day, if you're happy or sad, it's about coming to work and being grateful, because we forget to be grateful for what we have, and being a camp fireman is a blessing. Um, it's a wonderful opportunity, and I couldn't be any more happier with where I'm at in life. Uh, the other thing I always think about, and maybe goes not only for being here, it goes for no matter what you do in life, Try to act like the person that other people want to invest their time and effort into. That will help you succeed. I'm successful today. Um, in a lot of places in life, it's because other people have gotten me there. But I've always wanted to be the person that they were willing to invest in. Um, and it'll move you forward also. That's all I have to say. Thank you. My honor to call up uh, Captain to be Richard Rick Leo, and please bring up uh, any family members that you would like to uh, hold the Bible with you. in front of you and not be in trouble. Um, I'm standing here, but I'm standing on the shoulders of a lot of people that came before me. Like Dan said really well, I wouldn't be here without a lot of people, a lot of people that helped. As the mayor has mentioned, we've put in a lot of work, we've done a lot of sacrifice, but we haven't done nearly as much work and sacrifice as our families have. Um, my wife has loaned me out to the city because she's worried each time and I keep telling her not to because I work with guys like Dan and Todd. I've got nothing to worry about. Um, a couple people I would like to thank personally is Captain Bennett. He has said a lot of things to me that I can't say here because we're a mixed company. And by mixed company, I mean firefighters and non-firefighters. Sorry, Chief Bennett. <laughs> and that's the one of these things. He said a lot of stuff. Um, and again, could be construed differently from outside, but it has been nothing but motivation, and I appreciate you staying on me. Thank you. Thanks, everyone else.
Please raise your left hand on the Bible. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, who state your full name. I, Thomas M. Todd. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. To support the Constitution and laws. To support the Constitution and laws. Of the United States. Of the United States. The Constitution and laws. The Constitution and laws. Of the state of Ohio. Of the state of Ohio. The ordinances. The ordinance. Of the city of Canton. Of the city of Canton. And the regulations. The regulations. Of the Canton Fire Department. Of the Canton Fire Department. And I will faithfully, and I will faithfully, honestly, honestly, and impartially, and impartially, discharge and perform, discharge and perform, all the duties incumbent upon me, all the duties that are incumbent upon me, as captain, as captain, for the fire department, for the fire department, of the city of Kent, of the city of Kent, according to the best of my ability, according to the best of my ability, and understanding, and understanding. And this I shall do, and this I shall do, as I shall answer to God, as I shall answer to the new God. Dan took my words, Rick took my words, and I guess I expect that because everybody, we are all one. We all feel the same. It's an amazing job. I had to be the one. Uh, Sometimes I feel like I'm living a charmed life. This has been every opportunity for me, everything I've gained is to this department, to my wife and family and friends. <clears throat> it's just been an amazing adventure. I, I know some of the, the hardest thing about being a firefighter may be the hours and stuff, but I think being a wife of a firefighter has got to be worse. And, uh, and when you're a firefighter you're trying to study is even worse on that, because you go home and you read. And I want to thank the captains that, that did retire and gave us this opportunity. And yeah, I will do everything in my power not to let, let them down or in, anyone else. Thank you. present your helmets to you. taking with your um, the new captains and of course you have to sign the oath of office here with uh, Tammy who's a notary and um, the mayor the safety director and the two chiefs will stick around and maybe in front of the flag you might want to uh, take some pictures thank you all for coming and I want to wish our three new captains the best of luck <laughs>